So I just want to start off this video by apologizing in advance if the lighting fluctuates in any way, if the setting is a little bit too bright. I am filming during the daytime using natural lighting right now, which is such a rarity on my channel. <laughs> that like never happens. So I just want to apologize in advance if the lighting is like not A1. Not saying that my lighting is A1 to begin with, but y'all know what I mean. Also, I hope I don't have any lipstick on my teeth throughout this video. But if I do, I'm sure I'll hear about it. Not looking for no, no, no. Hell on a go, cause I got you. What is up, everyone? My name is Nacelle. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune into this video. And if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Nacelle, and I am so glad to have you all here with me today. So, as you can tell by the title, today I have for you the new Victoria's Secret Spring 2019 Body Care Collections. They released two new collections, one being Let's Get Away and the other being Neon Botanicals. But quickly, quickly, I just want to say thank you to everyone who let me know in the comments that Victoria's Secret did release some new collections. Really, like, you guys keep me on my toes and I cannot appreciate you all enough for letting me know. I'm so glad that you enjoy these videos from me and as long as you continue to enjoy them, I really don't mind bringing them to you and this is something that I genuinely love doing. So thank you guys for letting me know. So I'm gonna get started with the Let's Get Away collection because I did not purchase all of the fragrances in that collection. In each of these, they released four fragrances each. So in the Let's Get Away collection, I purchased two of the four. So the first one that I didn't get was called You Had Me at Escape. That scent was very aquatic, ocean-like, refreshing, watery type of fragrance, which is a fragrance note that I typically love, especially during the spring and summer season. It's just very refreshing. Um, but then I didn't purchase it because there is a very, very prominent, very strong greenery aspect in that fragrance that I didn't like. It was just way too much, way too overpowering, which is very surprising because typically when a scent has like an ocean aquatic base, usually that's like the most prominent note of the two. But in this particular fragrance, it was just way too much on the greenery and it almost gave it like a waxy type of quality to it. I'm not sure if it's because there's just so much greenery in that fragrance, but it was just too much for me, so I passed on that. And then the other scent that I didn't get was called You Had Me at Sunshine, I think. I forget, no. You Smell Like Sunshine? Something Sunshine, the yellow bottle one. I didn't get that one either because I just flat out didn't like that one. I was expecting to like it because it had a fragrance note of grapefruit in it, which I was very intrigued by. But when I smelled it in the store, I honestly did not get any grapefruit. I don't know if it was just my nose being weird that day, but I did not get any grapefruit aspect whatsoever. And overall, I just didn't like it. So those two scents I didn't purchase, but I do have the other two here to show you guys. So the first one here is called Good Vibes or Goodbye. So this is what this looks like. And this has the flamingos in the background here, if you can see that. So this is what the mist looks like. And then this is the lotion. So the fragrance notes in here are Fragrant Lily, Pineapple Breeze, Pink Sunsets, Love Yourself. That's what it says. So basically this particular fragrance, I was not expecting to like it based on the notes because it has pineapple. And I've said this before, but I really don't like citrus notes. Like anything citrus, I don't like. But more specifically, I don't like pineapple, I don't like lime, and I don't like lemon. Those are like the three that I virtually cannot stand. So I was almost like not even gonna try to smell this, but then I was like, you know what, you never know, so let's smell it. And really, you never know. So for this particular scent, this scent smells so good, like so good. I know that sounds surprising considering how much I don't like pineapple. Now, this actually has pineapple in here. It is noticeable, but I will say the lily aspect, oh my gosh, it tones it down so much. This is not a pungent, citrus, almost tart-like type of pineapple. It's definitely not that. The lily just adds a nice sweetness to it. Like, you know how you have that natural sweetness from like floral fragrances? That definitely tones the fragrance down and it makes it very bearable to me and just very smooth. This is such a smooth, like nice, refreshing summer fragrance. 
Mm, it smells really good. I will say though, this doesn't smell too unique. I feel like this particular fragrance DNA is something that they have replicated in the past. So in terms of being unique, I don't think this is too unique, but it is a good fragrance. So I highly recommend this one. Like I said, the pineapple note in there is in there and you can tell it's in there, but it's a very sweetened out pineapple. It's not citrus, it's not tart-like, like it's very nice. The other scent in that collection is called Called don't quit your daydream which looks like this oh my gosh I love it so much look at that cute little rainbow in the back hello it looks so pretty so this is the mist and then this is the lotion right here so the notes in this scent are warm sands coconut milk endless sky going places so that's what the description says so this scent is very interesting because the two notes are just warm sands and coconut milk so the coconut milk is very prominent in here and honestly, this scent is so universal. And I say universal because I feel like this is a safe blind buy fragrance. So if you're one of my viewers who purchases your Victoria's Secret scents online, I think you are safe with buying this as a blind buy because it's just overall very creamy. There's no specific notes in here. There's no specific note of like a floral or a fruit. Like there is nothing like that. It's just an overall creamy, smooth, naturally sweetened fragrance. And you're gonna hear me mention that a lot, that naturally sweet, that is like a very prominent note in a lot of these fragrances. And I'm totally digging that because it doesn't smell artificial. This is just very airy. Again, it's very delicate, it's smooth. So that's why I feel like this is pretty universal. I honestly feel like this is a safe gift also. If you're somebody who's you know, buying this as a gift for someone's birthday or whatever, this I feel like is a pretty safe scent. I highly recommend this one. This one's a really, really solid one. You do get that coconut milk. Again, it's creamy, it's smooth, it's naturally sweet. It's just an overall really nice, clean type of fragrance. Not clean as in like fresh shower clean, but just clean as in like there's nothing really else added to it. So now on to the newest release, which is called Neon Botanicals, which I honestly didn't even know that they released until one of you guys mentioned to me in the comments that they released it. And I was like, what? Like I knew they released Let's Get Away, but then I didn't know that they released another one. So seriously, oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. So basically I have all four fragrances from the Neon Botanicals collection because I really like this collection. But let's talk about the packaging first because guys, the packaging. Oh, oh my gosh. So this first one, which I'll start off with because this is my absolute favorite from the collection. This is called Tropic Splash. Look how pretty that looks. Oh my goodness. It is so spring. Like this screams spring to me. Oh my goodness, I love it. So basically the entire like packaging theme is the labels have a frosted finish to it. It has like a frosted gradient type of finish. As you can see, this one's pink going into green down here. And then it has some sort of like flower and fruit mixed in the background here. So this one has notes of juicy citrus, mango punch, and neon burst. So this one you can see, I don't know if you're really seeing it, but in person you can see like it actually has citrus fruits mixed in with the floral petals here. So it just looks really pretty, re like just really spring appropriate. So yeah, juicy citrus and mango punch. You guys know, I mention this a lot, peach and mango are two of my favorite, like all time favorite summer and spring fragrances. So by default, I just knew I was gonna love this one and it doesn't disappoint. It smells really, really nice. And you know what I really like about this fragrance? The mango is definitely the base note. Like even though there is a noticeable citrus aspect to here, the base note is definitely the mango and then the citrus part of it is definitely more in like the dry down. The citrus is more in the after impression. So I really, really, really like that. This is just a beautiful fragrance and it's well-rounded and it's just really nice for like spring and summer. This is delicate enough and it's light enough to be nice for the spring, but it's also juicy enough and fruity enough to be nice in the summer as well. So that is what this scent is. I highly recommend this fragrance. I Again, this is my favorite from the collection. So this next fragrance I was not going to purchase because you guys, like once I show you, you'll know why. And that is in Peony Crush. 
So again, you have that really beautiful purple frosted gradient going from purple to blue, and then you have the little florals floating around in the background. So it just looks so beautiful. And then this is what the lotion looks like. So the notes in here are exotic flower and violet petals. So you guys know I probably wasn't gonna like this one because it's just florals. It's literally just florals. So why do I like this that much? And I'll tell you why I like it so much. This scent is very, this scent is very sweet. These floral notes are very sweet and it's not like artificial sweet. Again, they're very natural. And it doesn't have like a waxy quality to it. Like it maybe it does a little bit, like a little bit, but it's nothing to completely deter me away from the fragrance. It doesn't take away from the quality of the overall fragrance itself. It just smells really good and it's not headache inducing. It's not too strong. It's not too in your face. It's not overwhelming. It's not polarizing. No, it's just a very nice, delicate, naturally sweetened floral fragrance. Almost like nectar. Like there is a little bit of like a nectar type of note in here because it is like such a nice floral. I don't know. It just smells so good, you guys. I swear, if you're somebody who's like me who virtually has no tolerance for florals, I still recommend you guys give this a try because again, it's unique. It's a unique type of floral. I feel like Victoria's Secret has done more overwhelming, pungent, in your face type of florals in the past. But this one is a really, really nice new and fresh rendition. I will say, in my opinion, this is specific to the springtime. Personally, I wouldn't wear this in the summer because in the summer I tend to wear more fruity, juicy type of fragrances. Whereas this one is very, like, like I said, it's straight up floral, but it's so delicate that this is like such a perfect spring fragrance. So this next fragrance, actually the last two fragrances fragrances in this collection, I personally recommend you guys don't blind buy because these could be hit or miss. So this next one is called Coconut Twist. Again, the packaging is really gorgeous. And then this is what the lotion looks like. And the notes are lemon squeeze and coconut milk. So this, again, I was not going to purchase because it's lemon and lemon is one of those fragrances, citrus fragrances that I don't like. But I was like, let me give it a chance because it is mixed with coconut milk. And you guys know I love coconut milk as a base note. It's very citrus-like. There is that noticeable lemon note. It is in there. And the coconut milk, again, adds that creaminess, that sweetness to the fragrance, and it tones it down so that it's not as citrus-like. It's not as tart-like. But I will say there is still a little bit, just a little bit of like an acidity type of note from the lemon. And I know that can almost like turn off people because it can almost smell like kitchen cleaner, bathroom cleaner type of thing. And overall, like as I mean, personally, I wouldn't want to smell like like a like an acidic type of citrus scent, especially in the warmer seasons. I feel like that would just make me feel more like sticky and like gross. But this scent is, it's okay. It's not my favorite of the collection here, but it was still good enough for me to get it in the mist and the lotion, which is a big deal. Um, if you guys are fans of Lemoncello from Bath & Body Works, I think you will really like this. It has a lemon note, obviously, but that coconut milk offers a creaminess and it offers like a smooth texture type of finish to the fragrance. So it's definitely still leaning more towards like citrus acidic type, but it's not too much. And the last fragrance that I have here is the one that I really recommend you guys don't blind buy. If you don't have access to a store, I don't think you should blind buy this because this is very, very, very specific. And that is in Marine Chill. So it looks like this. Again, pretty packaging. So this is what the lotion looks like as well. So the notes in here are fresh pear and aqua woods. So with this particular scent, I know some of you who love your pear scents. Heidi, I know you love your pear scents. This scent... I don't know if I can honestly pick out the pear specifically because this scent is very different and it's very complex. Now there is a woods aspect to this, but being that it's aqua woods, I don't think it's more of like a land type of woods scenario. I think the notes in here are more so like marine terrain type of notes. 
Um, so there is a, like a little bit of like an aquatic aspect to this. It's different. Like I can't really describe this scent because it's different. Like they're mixing a fruity fragrance. They're mixing a fruit with like an aquatic marine terrain grassy like situation which is very different and honestly it's okay to me like i don't love it this is one of those fragrances where i particularly have to be in the mood to wear it again it's not terrible enough so that i wouldn't purchase it in both the mist and the lotion i do have the lotion um which is right over here it's not terrible but again, I highly suggest you guys don't blind buy this just because this could be a hit or miss. So that concludes my review of the new Spring 2019 Body Care Collections from Victoria's Secret. I hope you guys found this helpful and definitely let me know down below if you've smelled these before, which ones you like, which ones you don't like. Let me know down below. Let's chat about it. I love you guys so, 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 so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. All that I need, trying to sugar